Hey to all craft beer lovers, it's time for that beer review once again. New brewery time on the channel, the trip goes to the UK, to uh, Norfolk. We're taking a look at an offering from Duration Brewing. We're taking a look tonight at their shifting baselines, Pale Ale, coming in at 5% in a standard 440ml can. There you go, they're describing themselves as a progressive farmhouse brewery in Norfolk, making beers that belong. Wild ales and fresh beers brewed from nature with purpose. Uh, a little bit of the beer, I guess. We believe fermentation is behind the next evolution in modern beer. Check out our house strain. It delivers wonderful stone fruit esters and a luscious mouthfeel to perfectly complement the mango notes of the mosaic hops. Duration are here to take beer to the next step on its journey and we want you to we want you along for the ride. Are you ready to accept the beer's shifting baseline yet? There you go. Contains barley malt, wheat, hops and yeast. And that's it. Nice looking kind of this little, little bit Yeah, a little bit so postmodernist uh artwork, I guess you can call it perhaps. Uh let's pop it, see what we get then. There we go, nice pop, good deal of smoke, and this beer is going out. So, oh, I'm pouring a little bit aggressively here, and I'm spilling a little bit as well, as per usual, as I do. There we go. Yeah, what do we have then? So, I'm gonna pour a little bit more in. All right. Let's stop right there for a second or two. Uh, as you can see, guys, giant, big, massive head on that beer. Six, maybe seven fingers almost of a fluffy, big, compact-looking head. Small bubbles on top. Looks like a nice, golden, hazy number. Super big carbonation streaming upwards, as you can see there. Yeah. But otherwise, it looks like a nice beer. Let's get the aroma then. It smells very nice. Very, very tropical, mango-like. Oh yeah, fresh, tropical vibes. A little bit of a nice, spicy hoppiness uh, in the mix. Yeah. Definitely, almost, foremost that tropical vibe, but maybe a bit of peach in there, maybe, maybe. Mango peach. Yeah, but it's all in the taste, it smells very nice, so let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's a nice beer. Mm. Yeah, nice, refreshing. Oh yeah. Nice citrusy notes in there. Let's go for a little bit more beer in that glass if we can. A little bit too high on the old carbonation, of course. Let's go for another one. Gonna get a little bit of that foam off. Yeah, so it's a nice, refreshing pale ale with a little bit of a nice bite to it. Citrusy nose, citrus on the taste. Slight hint of tropical notes, but more so actually that citrus, citrus fruits. A little bit of a, a bitter, earthy back end to the beer. Uh, yeah. Not bad. I'm going to see if I can get the last of the beer in. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, duration brewing, shifting baselines, pale ale, 5%. Uh, let's go for the final sip and the final rating then. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of a yeasty vibe to it, but not much, ever so slight. 
Uh, so for me, nice, good, refreshing pale ale with all the traits. Got a nice citrus aroma and tropical aroma, citrus on the taste, slight tropical fruits on the taste, a little bit of an earthy, bitter bite to it, lingering taste in the mouth. Uh, for me, yeah, it's a good, nice pale ale. Uh, maybe with a little bit of a yeasty vibe to it. Uh, yeah, duration brewing, first time around. Nice beer, shifting baselines, pale ale. If you like it, give it a try if you like your pale ales. Uh, for me, 3.75 out of 5. That was everything I had for today. Thank you for watching.